Coming up, I see everyone waiting for the power up the back on Jungkook's pillow suddenly disappear without any phone to see the flashlight. He's starting to fooling around the darkness. Let's begin. You're sitting in the back of the classroom, jiggling in your notebooks, trying to stay awake during the maths lecture. Your eyes wandering around in the room, landing on Jungkook. He catch your guess and to see you whistle softly. Your face flushed and quickly looked away. You murmuring to yourself, "Ah, oh, why does he have to be annoying?" Grinning, "Hey, what's the matter? Cat, go out your tongue." You trying to ignore him, focusing on the notebook. Chango clean back to the chair, still smirking. You know. It's rude to stare, but I will let it slide this time. Wasn't staring, laughing softly. Sure, you wasn't. You know she looks cute when you blushed. You felt your face heat up, and even more, you decided to go to ignore him completely, hoping that the teacher will notice and intervene. But Chang doesn't let up. What's wrong? Am I making you nervous? You swallow hard and trying to muster some courage. Just leave me alone. He pretending to be often. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to have a little fun. Don't be so serious. Thankfully, the teacher finally looked your way, noticing the distribution. Jungkook, do you have something to share with the class? Oh, it's a cheeky green. Uh, no, just enjoying the lecture. The teacher forward, but it goes back to the lesson. You let out a small sigh and relief, and praying that the class will end soon. Just a little longer, I can get out of here. You keep your eyes and glued to the notebook, determination to not give a Jungkook any more attention, hoping that he will eventually get a bold and leave you alone. As you try to focus on the notes, the door opened. The Madam Kim walked inside, holding a piece of paper. She is hand over the teacher, who read it, growing. Class, I have some exciting news. We are going on a trip, including the campfire for four days. The entire class cheer up in excitement. You feel the mix of excitement and anxiety, knowing that you will have to spend more time outside school with everyone, including him. You glance up to see him smirking at you. Oh, this is gonna be fun! I can't wait to see you out there. You feel a wave of discomfort, but before you can respond, your friend Sana step in. Glaring at him, why don't you just leave her alone? What's your problem? Raising his hand in a mug of surrounding, hey, I'm just excited for see the trip. No harm in that. Yeah, right. We all know. Just picking up the people grow up. Jungkook chugged, but doesn't see anything further. Turning his attention back to his friends, you give Asana a grateful look. Thanks, Asana. Smiling, don't worry about him. We are going to have an amazing time, and we wasn't let him ruin it for us. The teacher continued explaining the detail of the trip, and you started to feel a bit more easy, knowing that Sana has your back. Well, 
believe next Monday so make sure to bring everything on a packing list the trip is a great opportunity for learning the bounding and so let's make it most of it the class buzz with a chatter and about to upcoming tricks you feel the mixture of nervous but Sana encourage you to help you the more confidence about the days ahead. The day of the trip arrived, everyone is buzzing with excitement. You and Sana stand in a bus waiting for the board. As you pout, you notice the boys and girls will be in the same bus. Spring to Sana. This is not fair. I thought we will have separate. I know, but we will just make it the best of it. As you well down a side, you realize that the only empty seat left next to Chungo. You freeze, feeling a mix of disappointed and fear. The teacher noticed the empty seat. Calling out, you are there, go ahead and take a seat next to Chungo. We needed to go. You glance at Sana with a disappointed look, then slowly make your way to Jungkook's seat, a feeling anxiety. Jungkook look at you. Well, look like seat buddies luck mine. You sit down, trying to keep so much distance as possible between you and him. Sana gave you a sympathetic look. She find another seat. Jess, don't bother me, okay? Leaning closer. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. We are going to spending a lot of time together on this trip. Made be well. Have so much fun. I'd rather just be left alone. That's no fun. How about we make a deal trying to enjoy the trip and we will try not to test you so much a deal? I don't think I can trust you. Fair enough, but you may to find out that I'm not as bad as you think. You roll your eyes and turn back to look at the window, hoping that the trim will pass quickly. Chungo climbed back in his seat. Gonna just enjoying your company for now. You know, you're cute when you're mad, ever, I've been told you. Just stop. Alright, alright, but remember, we are going a four days. Anything can happen. The bus starts to move in and you take a deep breath trying to relax that with your uneasy statement. Sana turn around and give you an encouraged smile. You nod back feeling a little better knowing that you have you are getting this. Just ignore him. You know it again determination to make the best of this trip despite the unexpected setting arrangements. The bus down the hump the road causing that you feel uneasy. You notice that he has discomfort surprising you hand over the piece of the candy. Here take this I will have the thanks. You unwrap the candy and started to chiving it, feeling a silently battle just as you begin to relax, Jungko can't resist to touch your cane. You know, you are pretty good at sucking a candy. You rise with an inch chalk as you chalk the little coughing. At the same moment, the bus takes a sharp turn, causing that you lose your balance and a fail against Jungle. Both of you freeze, feeling a mix of discomfort, unexpected butterflies. Flushing and trying to sit back, I'm sorry. Surprisingly, but amused, generally helping you to back up. It's okay, just trying to not fall for me. Too hard.
You blush deeply and feel in the boat embarrassment and confused by the sudden act kindness and touching. Jungkook looked at you with a mix of amusement and something soft in his eyes. Maybe I'm not as bad as you think. Maybe just like keeping up on your toes. You roll your eyes but can't help to feeling a strange feeling in your stomach. The bus continue to bumpy journey and you focus on Candy trying to calm your racing heart. From her seat, Kim her curious look, you okay? Nodding. Yeah, just trying to survive the trip. Jungkook chuck beside you and clearly enjoying the situation. Don't worry. I will get you back. Literally, if you get a fail again. Just put yourself, you smile a little and feeling a bit more at ease. The rest of the bus ride continue with you occasionally stalling lens at Jungle wondering about the unexpected side of him. After the bus ride, everyone arrived in the camping site, teachers rise in the room and you reveal to be the Sana and Mina as you head to the room Jungle call out you. Smirking. Hey, maybe we'll get a lucky to share a room next time. Like we did on the bus. You blush deeply and quickly walked away, hoping that he doesn't notice your red face. Later that night, everyone gathered around the campfire, enjoying the warmth and the stars. After some time, the group moves to empty hole and where the projector set up for the movie night. You find out the spot with your friends, but Jungkook soon sit down beside you. Look like I'm your movie buddy tonight. Mind if I sit here? Trying to sound casual. It's fine. Sit whenever you want. Whispering to you, are you okay with him just sitting here? Nodding silently, yeah, it's fine. The movie starts and you trying to focus on a screen, but you are very aware of Jungkook presence. Suddenly all the lights go out, the room plug into the darkness. The students screaming and making a weird noise to scare each other. Boo. Oh, who touched me? Lean closer to you and whispering, don't tell me you scream out of darkness. Trying to sound brave, of course no, just unexpected. Someone suddenly grabbed your arm and making you help. Oh. Laughing softly, relax, just me. From a few seats away, are you okay? Trying to sound clam. Yeah, just settle. The light flickered back again. Everyone laughed and while the scare is over. You notice the Jungkook still holding your arm and pulled away. Feeling a mix of embarrassment and something else. You are fun to mess with. You know that? Yeah, well, don't get used to it. After the light come back on the movie continue and everyone is enjoying, Jungkook adjusts his pillow, shifting closer to you. Hey, scoot over a little. I got a big body and I need more space. You are small. You can manage. Annoying but trying to sit calm. Remember our deal, not dashing. Greening and raising his hand in a mock surrounded. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. Just trying to get comfort here. His exchanges apologize, make you laugh despite yourself. Jungkook Chuck to and the mood lies in. You both focus on the movie again. Suddenly the power cuts again. Plug in the room darkness. Everyone was there. No, not now. It was just getting to the best part. Teachers stand up and trying to calm everyone down. 
everyone please take him down it seems to be a technical issue we are working on a uh, getting the power back on uh just when it's getting good i hope they fix it soon well this cast we will have to entertain ourselves maybe it wasn't take so long Touching again. If you take it so long, I might be start to telling the scary stories. Hope you are not afraid of the dark. I think I can handle it. As the student wait for the power to come back on, conversation and laughter fill the room. Despite the disappointment, you strange to sense of the without even included him. He leans back, still close to you. You realize that he touching the feel more playful than a mean now. All right everyone let's give a few more minutes the power doesn't come back we will have to call it a night A student groan again but you all settled down hoping for a quick resolution As everyone wait for the power come back Chango Pillo suddenly disappear without any phone to use the flashlight he started to filling around in the dark His hand moved towards you without any realization it he accidentally grab your Wow my pillow gets so soft Oh hey you You quickly pushed his hand away and started to hitting his chest in a shine and Shango guys began to realize that his face turns bright red. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You continue to hit him lightly, overwhelming your embarrassment. How could you mistake for me for a pillow? raising his hand in defense i swear i was it's a, just an accident i couldn't see anything still remember really i'm sorry i didn't mean to you know you take a deep breath trying to calm down the awareness hanging there but you can see that jungkook seriously felt bad just to be more careful next time noting definitely i'm really sorry after the movie and the lights came back on the everyone started to gathering in the things i had to go back in the room sana and mina stayed close to you still worried about that what would happen are you sure you're okay she looks really upset yeah i'm fine it was just an accident You all start to leaving the hall. Chango catch up to you, look at the more serious than usual. Hey, can we talk for a second? Sure. She nervously replied. Sun and Mina exchange a glance, but over is some space. Look, I'm really sorry about the earlier. I know that joke around a lot, but I never wanted to make you uncomfortable like this. I know it was just a surprising, but I believe you. Rival, thanks. I appreciate it. And if you want, I can see it somewhere else tomorrow. Give you some space. It's okay. As Jungkook turned to leave, he suddenly felt the urge to courage to call him out. Jungkook, wait. He stops and turns around, looking a surprise. Yeah, you take a deep breath and feeling a mix of nervousness and determination. I was thinking maybe we could start over become friends. Jungkook eyes widened in a shock and then geniusly half a smiling spread across his face. Are you serious? You wanted to be friend with me? 
Yeah, I mean, we are not as bad as I was thought. Thought maybe I'm just getting no better. You are now comfortable with him, and who knows, his friendship grow up more in future. So thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys all in next video.